Hello beautiful humans, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tessa Stewart. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back sis. So in today's video, I will be going over all of my recommendations for this upcoming Sephora VIB sales event. So, if you're unaware, I love the Sephora Savings event and I always stock my cart up <laughs> prior to the sale event starting. So there are a lot of things that I like to get during the sale time, a couple things that are just staples for me. And I think this is a perfect time to take advantage of the sale, you know what I'm saying? So if you'd like to see the items that I recommend that you splurge on, or stock up on, as well as some things on my wish list, some things that I plan on getting or I'm hoping to get during the sale, then just keep on watching. But before we move any further, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you are alerted with all of my future uploads, and let's get right into the video. beautiful we are gonna jump right in I am super excited the sale starts on October 28th and it is tiered if you are VIB you get 20% off if you're Rouge you get 15% off and if you are an insider you will get 10% off and then everyone no matter what your insider status is will get 30% off on all Sephora collection items I have quite a few things I have some hair care skincare body care home items as well as makeup recommendations so I'm gonna start with each category. I'm gonna tell you the things that I recommend. And at the end of that category, I'm gonna tell you the things that are on my wish list. These are just things that I haven't tried yet that I'm interested in trying. I'm gonna start with the home items first, simply because I don't have many. I love for my home to smell good. I also like for my office space to smell good. Now, this first thing that I'm going to recommend, I love these, and that is gonna be the Volu Spa Reed Diffusers. This is the remnant of the <laughs> Baltic Amber. My favorite scents from Volu Spa are gonna be Baltic Amber, obviously, because I love amber scents. <laughs> Tahitian Coconut Vanilla, very pretty scent, very subtle, just a warm, inviting scent, as well as the Santal Vanilla. So these are great for a small to a medium-sized room. They're not overpowering, and they leave a light scent. They are also really good for the office. So if you have an, a small office space that you don't wanna overpower, this is great to keep the room smelling refreshed. This is great for your desk area, especially if you eat at your desk. <laughs> it helps keep those scents at bay. So I like the reed diffusers. I also like the candles as well, and I believe that you can't go wrong. So. Next, we're gonna be moving on to fragrances. During this time of the year, they have a lot of travel sets that are usually really good. So if you have any favorite scents that you like that come in any type of travel set where you get like the full size and the travel size or um, the perfume, and a matching lotion, I always suggest you get that. Or you could try any of the Discovery sets. So one of the fragrances that I'm going to be suggesting is actually newer. It is the Prada Paradox <laughs> Perfume. Now I know you're wondering what happened, <laughs> okay? This has never happened to me before. I don't know what was going on. I dropped this and it hit another glass bottle. And when I say it fell like less than a foot, it fell less than a foot, hit the glass bottle and it shattered. But with that being said, the scent itself is beautiful. It's a very pretty smell, slightly sweet, a little powdery on the dry down, has a warmth to it. It's a little on the sexier side. I quite enjoy this. I was thoroughly surprised that I like this. It grew on me. I actually only owned this for like a couple weeks before, <laughs> before it shattered into pieces. So I am gonna repurchase this and it mixes well with the Nest Vanilla Fragrance Oil. Which brings me to my next recommendation. <laughs> and that's gonna be any of the Nest fragrance oils, in particular, the Madagascar Vanilla. This is the large bottle. You can obviously get this in the travel roller size. I like this one, I like the Jasmine. The Turkish Rose, I like it when I first put it on, but it doesn't wear well with me over time, but it is a pretty scent and it smells beautiful on other people. So give these a try, they're long lasting, they can be worn on their own, and they are great for layering. So now we're moving on to body care. Guys, before we get started, I just wanted to say a huge shout out and thank you to Anna Luisa for sponsoring today's video. If you are unaware, I am now a brand ambassador for Anna Luisa. 
Yay, I'm super excited. I love their jewelry. They're so cute. Very dainty, classy, sophisticated pieces. Perfect accents for any outfit. So I'm just gonna go over some of the items that I have picked out. So the first thing is gonna be this necklace I'm wearing. So this is actually a necklace set. This is the Alexandria set. I love this. This is a perfect addition to any like turtleneck or a low neck sweater. You can wear it with a white t-shirt. You can also wear it with a collared shirt, like a little peekaboo action. Super cute, adds just a nice touch of style to any outfit. I also picked out the Diane bracelet. It's just a little cuff. I think it's so cute and it's very lightweight, but like heavy enough that you don't feel like it's just gonna fling off. I really like it. There's enough room that you can actually put this over a sweater. My sweater is a little too thick today, but that's generally how I like to wear it. I also picked out this beautiful bracelet, the Michael Bold. I like to wear this when I'm wearing like jeans and a t-shirt, very cute. Ana Luisa is actually a sustainable brand. Everything is fairly priced and produced ethically. If you're interested in any of the pieces that I have showed you today, or if you wanna see what other items they have to offer, then be sure to click the link in the description box below. Right now they have 15% off. They're also offering a 25% discount if you wanted to create your own bundle. If you want to be up to date with their upcoming sales, then be sure to follow them on social media. So once again, I just wanted to say a big thank you to Ana Luisa and let's get right into the video. So the next item I'm gonna recommend, you've seen on my channel, I love it. Plenty of people love it and for good reason and that is going to be the Way Scalp and Body Scrub. So this is in the scent Melrose. I also recommend the body wash. I am completely out of these. I have purchased these numerous times. You know that I'll be repurchasing them again. I love the way that they smell on their own. They have a wonderful floral spa-like scent that's slightly fresh. It lingers very heavy in your bathroom, but it's not overpowering. The scent does linger on your body, but it can be layered with other scents if you're gonna wear a fragrance and you don't necessarily wanna to commit to Melrose Place. The body wash is very moisturizing. The body scrub leaves your skin nice and smooth, no residue. The granules feel great. Highly recommend. Next is going to be the Moroccan Oil Intense Nourishment Body Butter. Now, this came out new, like the beginning of the year. I purchased it and I burned through it. The scent, it's a little woody, it's a little, it's slightly sweet, but it's really more woody. It's a little bit more unisex. This has shea, mango, and cocoa butters, as well as hyaluronic acid, which just locks in the moisture. This is super moisturizing. You're gonna use it, and after like two days of using it, you will notice a difference in your skin. It, it feels like new skin, almost like your skin has been transformed. Use a body scrub, put this on with some body oil, and the next day, your skin will be so soft and supple. My husband gave me so many compliments about how smooth and soft my skin was after using this. If you're interested in a body butter and you want more than just something that smells good and you want something that really moisturizes your skin, give it a try. Next item is going to be the Fenty Skin Hydra Reset Intensive Recovery Glycerin Hand Mask. Okay, girl, I purchased this because I was intrigued and my hands have just, they've been a little bit more rough and dry. I type all day, okay? So what happens is eventually, sometimes your hands dry out, especially now that we're using so much like hand sanitizer and everything like that. It goes on thick, it does leave a little bit of a residue, but remember, this is a nighttime mask, so you're gonna put it on your hands and you're gonna go to sleep, right? But when you wake up, it's like your skin feels a little bit more smooth. Your hands feel softer, smoother. They just feel more hydrated over time and they don't dry out as easily. So I like this a lot. It has a light like semi vanilla scent. It's very inviting, it's very light and it does fade and dissipate quite fast. I enjoy this and highly recommend. Next recommendation for body care is gonna be the Kosa Sport Beachy Clean Chemistry AHA Serum Deodorant. This deodorant, is very good. I used it all summer. Now, it doesn't keep you the driest, but you do not get a smell that comes through. There's a lot of these aluminum-free deodorants that don't really like help you. And I like this way better than Native. My underarms have some hyperpigmentation. They've been like that since I was a kid, actually. 
I never really cared, okay? I know that it's like a big thing now, but I still don't, I still don't care, it's my underarm. But it has lightened my underarm slightly. I guess the AHA being in it, so if you are looking for a deodorant that helps with hyperpigmentation under your arms, try this. Now the scent is sandalwood, jasmine, and vanilla. It's not very strong, it fades very quickly, it smells more chemically than like vanilla or anything like that. But honestly, the, the scent is like, you barely notice it. Now, here we go with the wish list for body care. As you know, your girl is a sucker for body scrubs, all right? This next item, I want this because of the reviews. The reviews, people are raving about this, okay? And that is gonna be the Cora Organics Turmeric Invigorating Body Scrub. Obviously it has the turmeric in it, so it's supposed to help with like evening the skin tone, softening the skin. It has a lot of great ingredients. So this has turmeric to visibly brighten and even the look of skin tone, rosehip seeds, which contain retinoic acid, a form of vitamin A, which gently polishes, and saccharide isomerate, which helps bind to the skin's natural moisture and create a moisture barrier. So this is supposed to be moisturizing, smoothing, and skin tone evening. These are all things that I love. <laughs> and I hope that the granules give me the feeling that I like, but it's on my wish list because it is a scrub and it's $60. And I, for one, no offense, I don't know much about the brand, you know? This has five stars with 307 reviews and it's supposed to be brand spanking new, like, 1.7 thousand hearts. People love this stuff so far. So I wanna see what the hype is about and I will let you know how it goes. Now I'm gonna do skincare for the face. I have found some wonderful, amazing products over the last couple of years that have really helped with hyperpigmentation and acne. If you're unaware, I had adult acne that sparked up right after the pandemic began and my skin is finally clearing up. I'm feeling good about it, feeling good about myself, and the hyperpigmentation is going away, and I do credit a lot of these products. First, we are gonna start with a product that I wanted to work, and it has exceeded my expectations. I love it. That is gonna be the Pharmacy 10% Niacinamide Night Mask with Vitamin B. This mask, has niacinamide in it. You're supposed to put it on as the last step in your skincare routine at night. So you put it on over top of your moisturizer and this stuff, I layer it on, I wake up in the morning, I wash it off. And when I tell you it's like it revives your skin, it rejuvenates your skin and your pores look a little bit more refined and your skin looks more smooth. If I have a big day or if I have somewhere to go, an event, my husband and I are going somewhere, I love to use this mask the night before. I actually take this, I put this in a travel size container and I take this on all of my trips with me. I literally, literally I took this to Jamaica. I <laughs> I've taken this up and down the East Coast. I enjoy this thoroughly. So if you are in the market for a mask and you don't mind a mask that you leave on overnight, give this one a try. I really enjoy it. I know I talked about that mask and that mask is for overnight. If you're not into masks, but you're looking for a night cream, girl, this is the perfect time to splurge on some of those like more pricier items. And those are the ones that I'm gonna recommend next. So first I'm going to be starting with the Algonist Sleeping Collagen. This is a night cream that you put on your top of your face. Use a pea-sized amount. If you have dry, dehydrated skin, if you have dry patches, give this a try. This stuff is so thick and emollient and just it, I don't know, it like glides on your face. This has transformed my skin. Even on my most drying products from the dermatologist, this really moisturized my skin and I noticed a difference. So if you just want a staple night cream and you don't necessarily want a night mask, this is definitely, definitely a good option. So the next thing I'm gonna recommend is going to be the SK2 Pyterra First Experience Kit. I'm recommending the kit because it has like quite a few different items in it. It comes with the SK2 Essence. This essence is supposed to refine the skin, refine your pores, and also help whatever products that you use, whether it's a serum, moisturizer, penetrate your skin a little bit better and almost boost the efficacy of all of your other products. This is very pricey, but with the 20% 
20% off. It's a good option. The kit that I am recommending comes with this, the toner, as well as a face mask. If you wanna try the face mask, you wanna try the toner, which is what I wanna do, I suggest getting the kit. It's the same price as this bottle and you get the full size bottle in that kit. Okay, so the next item is going to be an exfoliant. This exfoliant took me by surprise because I did not like its predecessors and that is the Dermalogica Daily Milk Foliant. This chemical exfoliant is the most gentle, <laughs> effective exfoliant that I have tried. I use this every day. When I don't use it, I notice a difference. The milk foliant is a powder. You put it in your hand, you add a little water and it begins to actually lather and it turns a little bit more creamy and you use that to wash your face. I tried the regular daily microfoliant as well as the extra strength exfoliant version of this. Both of those irritated my skin and I could not use them on a regular basis. This one I've been able to use every day since I got it. I really enjoy it and it leaves your skin feeling very smooth after you've used it. I don't know how to describe it, but if you are in the market for an exfoliant, give it a try. Next is going to be the Suwasu Gentle Cleansing Foam Hydrating Makeup Remover. This cleanser, guys, I don't know why people don't talk about this cleanser more. This cleanser is bomb. When I tell you it gets rid of your makeup, it really does remove the makeup. First, I put this on my face and then I add water to let it foam up and remove the makeup and then I'll go in a second time with this or I will use this to remove my makeup and then follow it up with the Daily Milk Foliant. The Milk Foliant after the Sulwasu cleanser has been my go-to and when I tell you my skin so my suggestion is to purchase the small one if you're on the fence. If you're not on the fence and it's something that you feel like you might like, I would go ahead and purchase the large. I thoroughly enjoyed it, especially if you have dry skin. Now, if you have oily skin, this may be a little bit too moisturizing, but if you follow this with like the Daily Milk Foliant or any other sort of exfoliant afterward, I think that this will be great. Those were the things that were on my recommendations list for skincare. Now we're gonna talk about some of the things that are on my wish list for skincare, okay? So the first thing on my wish list is from Sawasu. <laughs> that is going to be the Sawasu White Ginseng Radiance Refining Mask. So this mask has ginseng built in. It's a wash off mask. You put it on, you leave it on for, I guess like 10 to 15 minutes, and then you rinse it off. And this is supposed to reveal radiant, plump, smooth skin. I am all for that. I have a lot of, I don't know why, but the last year I've been buying a lot of like, overnight masks. Don't get me wrong, while I love my pharmacy 10% niacinamide mask, because I use a silk pillowcase, it will leave a residue on the pillowcase. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes I just wanna be able to put the mask on and wash it off. So I'm hoping that this will give good results. Next is gonna be the Glow Recipe Guava Vitamin C Bright Eye Gel Cream. Okay, when it comes to my face, the only thing that really bothers me are my dark circles. I have had them majority of my life. <laughs> sometimes they are lighter than other times, sometimes they're darker than other times, but I'm always on the search for a good eye cream. I do love the Algonist Triple Algae Eye Cream, but this one has vitamin C in it. And vitamin C has generally been very effective with lightening hyperpigmentation on my face. So I'm intrigued to see what it does under my eyes, as well as, when I was reading the reviews online and when I saw the before and after pictures of, you know, like the testimonials, they looked really good and it looked like the pictures hadn't been retouched. So I figure it's worth a try. I can use this during the day and I can use my Algonist at night. I'm going to test it out and I'm going to let you know if I get any results. And then the last skincare item that is on my wish list is the Rose Ink Hydration Replenish Micro Encapsulated Plumping Gel Moisturizer. <laughs> That is a mouthful, okay? But the reason why this is on my wish list is because of what it claims. I mean, the name itself, Micro Encapsulated Plumping Gel Moisturizer, it sounds like it's just gonna deliver <laughs> moisture <laughs> molecules directly to your skin and like burst out or whatever. But skin plumping products generally 
react well on my skin. I like the, the soft, subtle glow that it gives. So I'm trying to replenish and reinforce my moisture barrier. It has niacinamide to smooth the look of pores, vitamin C, which I'm trying to get back into a little bit more, which is a powerful antioxidant that brightens the complexion, and Cantella Asiatica that strengthens the moisture barrier. This has like five stars on Sephora, 4.6 thousand hearts like people really enjoy this it is very pricey hence the reason why it's on my wish list and why i would purchase it during the sephora sale now i do like the belief aqua balm moisturizer it has been my daily go-to but i am still trying to even out my skin tone i still have some hyperpigmentation i'm trying to get more into vitamin c and i'm also trying to like shorten my skincare routine so i thought about getting a separate serum but then it's like okay if i use a serum i still have to use a moisturizer so i'm considering just getting a moisturizer with the vitamin c built in Boom, just one step. I am gonna test it out if I purchase it and I will let you guys know. So now we're gonna move on to makeup. Ugh, girl, I, there are so many makeup items I want right now. I don't know if it's because now like I'm more into doing my makeup since my skin is clearing up or what, but I have a few recommendations. During the Sephora sale, I think this, this is the best time to stock up on like makeup tools and stuff of that nature. So the very first thing I'm gonna suggest are going to be Sephora brushes. So the Pro Series brushes, like this one here, I have the number 47. I also have this Sephora brush. This brush is so old that it's discontinued. They don't even sell it anymore, but I still use it daily. I use both of these daily, and this has stood the test of time. I've washed it so many times, and it hasn't fallen apart. I haven't lost any bristles, and I expect all of the rest of the Sephora collection brushes to perform the same. So these are a good buy and you get 30% off. So if you're trying to get some new brushes, highly recommend. Also from Sephora, there is the Sephora Collection Pack It All Organizer. It's normally like $49, but you'll get 30% off. I am trying to get a new makeup organizer for travel. It has removable compartments. It's very similar to something that I was looking at on Amazon, but now with the discount, it's actually gonna be less expensive than the one on Amazon. <laughs> and it'll probably last me longer, so I plan on getting that. The next recommendation is going to be House Labs Triclone Skin Medium Coverage Foundation with Fermented Arnica. I actually purchased this foundation last month and I tested it out in a vlog. The vlog will be up soon. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm behind. But I tested it out. I wore it for a week. I love how it wore on my skin. It gave my skin a nice radiant glow, but it wasn't oily. And even throughout the day, like your oils peek through a little bit, but it wasn't like an oil slick and the makeup didn't move around. It made my skin look buttery smooth. The reason why I returned it is because I purchased the wrong shade. <laughs> and instead of exchanging it, I realized that, you know what, the sale is coming up. Let me just go ahead and return it. Then I'll purchase the correct shade during the sale, which is what I'm gonna do. I also suggest getting the House Labs Bio Blurring Talc Free Loose Setting Powder. I have watched so many reviews on this and I've watched reviews from other dark skin women and I plan on getting the, I believe the honey shade. It literally blurs the skin. I will be the one to test it out and let you know. Next is going to be the One Size On Till Dawn Mattifying Waterproof Setting Spray. This setting spray is the truth, okay? <laughs> like, your makeup is not gonna move. I sprayed my Urban Decay All Nighter first, then I sprayed the On Till Dawn Setting Spray. I did my makeup, this was early in the morning, we went and did some activities, we came home. I was supposed to take a nap and then we were supposed to go back out, but my nap, went on longer than it should. I woke up in the middle of the night and my face was sitting, okay? You couldn't tell me anything, <laughs> all right? Like, my makeup looked great. Like, it looked amazing. Like, you would not have been able to tell that I had just slept on it. It wasn't oily, it didn't move around, and I also noticed that the claims about it being like transfer proof, they are valid. I've been using Urban Decay All Nighter for years, and that also claims to be transfer proof, but as your, you know, the day progresses and your natural oils mix in, your makeup will transfer if you touch your face. I have noticed that less of my makeup transfers with the On Till Dawn setting powder. It is very mattifying though, so if you have dry skin, you will need to use a more dewy foundation or more like dewy setting spray under it just to get rid of the powdery look. But if you're an oily girl, girl, just use the, the On Till Dawn. That stuff is amazing at mattifying the skin and keeping your makeup in place all day. Next is gonna be the Patrick Ta Brow Wax. 
I have this brow wax in clear and I also have it in brown. As you can see, I've hit the pan. This is by far my favorite brow product. If you have thick, curly, unruly eyebrows, like I do, those thin, liquidy, mascara-like brow glues do not work, okay? But this brow wax or brow pomade is amazing. It keeps my brows intact all day. You can spray it with a little setting spray to get it wet and then apply it, but honestly, I don't even do that anymore. I literally put my spoolie directly in here and take it to my brow and lay my brows down and it looks great. So what's on my brows right now? I thoroughly enjoy it, highly recommend. And then last but not least, for makeup recommendations, I recommend Beauty Blender. They have a multi-pack that they are selling. You'll get the sale price on that. If you use Beauty Blenders a lot, I say get the multi-pack. If not, you can get the single pack. I suggest getting the black one. The pink and all the other colors, they stain, and it's really hard to get <laughs> the foundation out of this thing. So I suggest just sticking with black. I actually plan on getting the multi-pack. That's gonna give you the most bang for your buck sale-wise. All right, beautiful, and last but not least, it's going to be hair care. There are hair care products that I stock up on during the sale because the products that I like to use are generally on the more pricey side, but honestly, they really get good results. I've been using this brand for years. It is my all-time favorite, and that is Kerastase. <laughs> <laughs> so let me go over the products that I am currently using and loving from them right now. And my suggestion would be the Kerastas Chroma Absolute Shampoo as well as the Kerastas Chroma Filler Mask. So the matching mask. So the shampoo I got is for medium to thick hair because my hair is super thick. This shampoo is great for color treated hair. It has lactic acid and centella asiatica. So the centella asiatica is also supposed to help with like your moisture barrier and retaining moisture in the hair. This stuff helps with the longevity of your hair color. The ends of my hair were actually lightened. I had my hair in like ombre and I've been slowly like darkening my hair, like the bottom to match the top. But as you wash your hair, your ends fade. I have noticed that after I get my hair recolored and I use this, my hair color takes longer to fade. This shampoo is very moisturizing. Your fingers will literally glide through your hair while you're washing your hair. You can detangle your hair while you're shampooing. I love this stuff. And then the mask, girl, forget about it. It is like, <laughs> it's like your hands literally glide through your hair like butter. Like it's beautiful. Your hair feels great. It does smell a little like perfume. It doesn't bother me at all. I love this stuff. Now I am going to be repurchasing the mask because I have gone through this. I love this mask so much that since I started using it, when I don't use it, I notice a difference and I just can't wait to go use it again and I actually regret it. I went back to trying to use my Olaplex number eight, the moisturizing mask, and I instantly regretted it. I prefer this so much more. Girl, give it a try. Especially if your hair is color treated, you really should try it. All right, girl, so this next item, you see it all over the internet. It's been on TikTok. I'm sure you're hearing about it everywhere, okay? And that is going to be the Color Wow Dream Coat. Yes, I have tried this. This is my third bottle of this stuff. Only thing I will say is you have to use a lot. So if you're going to purchase this, I say get it during the sale when you can get the, the 20, 15 or 10% off. If you have thick hair like mine and you have texture like mine, then I say get the larger bottle because in order for it to work, you actually have to like almost saturate your hair with this. And you're supposed to use it alone. I haven't tried it alone because I don't trust anything <laughs> that much. I still spray my anti-frizz leave-in under it, and then I put this stuff on top of it. I spray it liberally, and I have noticed that it does keep my blowout longer. My hair doesn't frizz as easily. I can get very hot and overheated, and my hair won't puff up as much. So it does keep your hair sleek. It does create a very nice shine, and even though I sprayed an outrageous amount of this stuff in my hair, it didn't weigh my hair down at all. Now, the last item that is on my wish list, and that is for hair, is gonna be the 
Orbe Royal Blowout Heat Styling Spray. So this spray is supposed to be like Orbe's version of like my Kerastase anti-frizz leave-in heat protectant as well as like the Dream Coat heat protectant. I wanna try because I have tried Orbe products in the past. I did try the shampoo and the conditioner. I didn't continue using it because it's just so expensive. But this leave-in is more along the price point that I'm willing to pay. So I figured I'd give it a try. I'm going to order the small size, see how I like it, and I will also report back and let you guys know if it really works, okay? All right, sis, that's all I have for you today. I hope that you enjoyed. I hope that today's video was helpful, that it gave you a little insight on some of the products and their performance. And if you were on the fence about purchasing any of these, that I helped you make a decision. So. Really quickly, one more time, I just wanna say a big, huge shout out and thank you to Ana Luisa for sponsoring today's video. If you're interested in any of the items, be sure to click the link in the description box below. If you wanna see more videos like this from me in the future, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you are alerted with all of my future uploads. And if you found the video helpful, share it with a friend, girl. If you made it this far, you are a real one and I love you for that. And I will see you in the next video video. Bye!